What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We have got another cheap transferred hybrid squad builder. I've been able to work my magic and build another transferred hybrid uh, with all the players with like the limited amount of players that have been transferred and like the limited amount of good players that have been transferred. Um, so hopefully today you're going to be seeing a pretty nice hybrid that you guys can go ahead and build for yourself. It is around the 30k mark, but if you use this one player, basically I've got a pink footies player in here, and if you know, you guys know the pink footies players are exactly the same stats as their normal ones. If you remove that, um, then yeah, that's when it's 30k. But if you guys want to go ahead and use him, then it's more like 45k, 50k. Um, but yeah, because it's the same stats, I'm going to be calling it a 30k hybrid, um, just so that you guys know. Anyway, we're going to dive straight into this. We're going to be using the 433 third variation. Now, if you guys want to buy any FIFA 16 Ultimate Team coins, go ahead and purchase this for yourself. Make sure you go and check out buycheaputcoins.com. Link down in the description below. Use J54 at checkout for 10% off your order. So, let's dive straight into this. Moving on to the goalkeeper then. We have got a German goalkeeper. He's actually a player which featured in one of my... Uh, one of my transfer videos, but it wasn't actually to do with a hybrid, so I felt inclined to kind of go ahead and use him in a hybrid, and that is Karius. Um, now, because of the lack of like, um, well, the limited amount of players, you will be seeing, you know, a couple of club links during this um, video, but I can assure you um, the team will play pretty sick. So, yeah, we're going to now move on to the two centre backs. Um, again, they're going to be Liverpool players. Now, we have got Joel Matip and also Liverpool's new signing. Um, Klavan, which is pretty cool because he's going to be kind of, I'm guessing, like the new Colo Torre of, uh, of Liverpool's defence. So hopefully, I mean, I've, I've heard good things about him. I know he's not going to be an absolute well beater, but he's going to be a half decent player for Liverpool. And um, yeah, I think Matip is the one that we've got a lot of potential in um, at what, 24, 25? You know, he's, he's got to be, uh, he's got to have a lot of years ahead of him. And, um, I, you know, I. I I think he's going to be a sick player. I think he's going to be a good player for us. Just what we need. So, that is going to be our back, well, our two centre backs and our goalkeeper. Um, it's going to be interesting to see as well how good these players play on FIFA because I haven't actually used Klavan or Karius. I've only used Jomati, but that was when he was at Schalke. So, we're going to move on to the right back then. We have got a Brazilian, and it's a player which I've actually used before. Uh, it's obviously going to be the Juventus, Dani Alves. And then on the left hand side, we've got another Serie A player. Uh, and it is going to be a player which used to play in the Turkish league. Um, and now we have got him in uh, the Serie A. And that is going to be Erkin, a very, very, very good left back on this game. Look at them stats. He could kind of play anywhere on the pitch, to be honest. Um, so he's got 84 pace, 72 shooting, 78 passing, 80 dribbling, uh, 75 defending and 76 physical. So, yeah, I mean, like, he is a, he's a quality, um, a quality fullback. And for his rating, he does kind of deserve, like, an 80 rated card, to be fair, for them stats. But... You know, that is what EA have given him. So, we're going to move on to the right CDM first. And we have got another Serie A player. Um, this time, it's actually going to be the newly transferred Isla. Um, <clears throat> this guy, I believe he was at Juventus and he's gone back on, back, come back from a loan. Uh, I think he was at, was it Marseille? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Marseille. Or some team in the French League. I'm, I'm not too, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's Marseille. Um, and yeah, he's got a CDM card now. So I'm thinking he's going to be pretty decent there. He's got 80 pace in a CDM role, which is kind of ideal, to be fair. Um, 5 foot 10, not the tallest guy in the world, but you know what? His stats are pretty solid and all round. So uh, yeah, I think he's going to do a great job there. Left CDM then. We have got another Serie A player. And this guy actually is a default. Let me just... Okay, he is a default. Mid, but we have got him as a CDM. Uh, hopefully you guys are cool with this. Basically, the defending on, on, on this card is actually not that bad. 65 defending and 70 physical. He's got medium, medium work rates, which is not bad for a CDM. It's just kind of like average. It's like default, basically. Um, and I think he'll be a good player to run up players. I've used him before. And when you've got a player which has four star weak foot, four star skill moves, especially that four star skill moves, running at players from a deep position is always very, very good tactically. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to work wonders as well with this team. So we're going to move on now to the centre mid. And we have got the pink Pjanic at, his, at Juventus. Uh, now this card is exactly the same as the normal 84 Juventus Pjanic. But he is pink. And if he does get the vote to be uh, in the final 11 for the footies, um, then he will get an upgraded card and it will have a gold little plate on it. Um, so yeah, 
it cost me like 20,000 coins or 15,000 coins, so he's just going to play as good as his normal card. I'm not expecting anything extra until he might be, um, you know, well, un unless he does actually get put into the footies winners of, uh, or whatever. So we're now going to move on to the right wing. We have got a Liga BBVA player, we've got an Atletico Madrid player. So, right wing, we have got Cersei. He's been kind of all around the shop. He was at Milan, he went to Genoa, I believe, and now he's back at Atletico Madrid. Um, or this might be one of his past transferred cards. I, I don't know. So, like Some of the transfer players that I've been using in other videos, you guys have been saying, oh no, they're just coming back on loan. But in a sense, they are still a transfer player. So, yeah, it's a new player on FIFA that we haven't seen before. So, I still see it as like a new player because then you can add them into teams that you might not have been able to do with their old cards if you see what I mean because they're in a different league it's different if it was like from Milan to like Inter Milan do you know what I mean Is it, that's where it'd be different but because they're a different league I'm going to be using them uh, now for the next striker spot we have got another Atletico Madrid player and we have got Baptiste um, and then left wing we have got another Atletico Madrid player uh, and that is going to be Gaitan. So if you ask me, this team does actually look pretty cool. It's something a little bit different. I know there's quite a few club links in here, but I really do think this is a cheap and fun team that you guys can go ahead and build whilst you're waiting for these footies winners and whilst you're waiting for some more big name transfers to get released. This week could be a big week for transfers as well. You never know, Pogba might go to Man United for good. Um, Icardi might be going to Napoli. Higuain might be going somewhere else, Arsenal, whatever, Lacazette could be on his way out. So there's a lot of big name transfers which could potentially happen. Rakitic is even linked with Liverpool. It's never going to happen, but he's linked with them. So it's just, you know, we're stirring a pot right here and we could be seeing some absolutely insane hybrids, um, you know, very, very shortly. And of course, I'll be making them on this channel. So. That is going to be that. Let me know in the comment section below what you would have done differently. Um, if you have any hybrids for yourself, link me them on Twitter um, that, have, that are full transfer hybrids. Link me on Twitter because if I do like them, I might make a video on them and I'll give you credit, of course. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and dive into a game and see how well this team can play. Let's go. Here we go then, this is our opponent and this guy has got a Bundesliga and Liga BBVA mixed team. So he also does have Jesus Navas, so I suppose it's a bit of a Spanish mix as well. Um, but he's got Rakitic, Adariz in there, so he's going to be crossing in a lot, I can tell you that for nothing. Um, because Adariz is unbelievable in the air and he's genuinely just unbelievable anywhere on this game. I can't remember who I did a video against, but I think it might have been Curtis and in a seven minute score builder and Adderys absolutely destroyed my defence. So just because he's slow doesn't mean he's going to be bad, all right? He's going to be good, trust me. So we've got to keep our wits about us, but um, I'm feeling confident in our team. I think we can go ahead and grab a nice little win here. Um, so yeah, let's see how this team plays. Oh, here we go. Go on, Cersei. Back into the middle. Nice. Benega. Here we go, nice little one-two of Benega, Cersei, we've got to get to the byline, look at this, he's got some pace about him, I take it that, that was a nice cross, but it was just in, into the hands of Leno, so unfortunately, it didn't work out, there's a long ball on, Benega has seen it, he's headed it down, Baptiste couldn't get there though, that's frustrating, okay, Pjanic has got back, this is nice, we're back under control, back under control with this team, here we go, Erkin. Let's make a run for it. Come on. Come on, lad. Let's go down the line. Look at this. Nicholas Gaitan. He has just been snubbed out, but this guy has given away a corner from trying to pass it back to his keeper when off balance. So that's helped us quite a bit. I think Gaitan might have his work out against, um, what is his name? Demarcos, because Demarcos has a lot of pace. And yeah, we, we know that pace is kind of like a massive factor in this game. We know that. So, oh God, it is Erkin against Adariz. And Erkin, what a challenge that was then. What a flipping challenge that was. Go on, love that. All right, here we go. Down the line now. Down the Oh, Cersei's cut in. Go on, finish that now. Oh, okay. That was a very, very nice shot indeed, though. Um, that was close. That was our first real opportunity. And Cersei kind of made it himself. I know Danny Alves did put in a nice ball. But, um, yeah, I mean... Not bad, not bad. Get this out, out. Lovely stuff. Are we going to get there? No, we're not. Oh, God, he's going to be so lucky if that goes in. What a flipping save from Carrius. Please, please do that for Liverpool. Please do that for Liverpool. Right, okay. <laughs> okay, another lovely save. Another lovely save. Here we go. Oh, God. There we go. We've got the counter-attack on now. We have got the counter-attack on. Leo Baptiste 
Get the ball back. Oh, for God's sake. We still can counter attack from here. We still. Another unbelievable save. We've got to hold my hands and save. Karius is saving me right now. Love that. There's a long ball on. Look at that. Can we get there? No, we flipping can't. I saw that and I was like, look, we, it needs to be picture perfect if we're going to be able to get him on the ball. But it was worth the risk. Go on, back to style. Here we are. Here we are. Pjanic now. Go on. Oh my God, we smashed the bloody crossbar. We have smashed the crossbar with Pjanic. Right, well, there we go. That is going to be the halftime whistle. Let's check out some of the halftime stats and see what we are working with right now. So, wow, I've had four shots, none on target, though. I suppose, yeah, crossbar doesn't actually count. But it's a bit, that's interesting to see that he is actually... Well, yeah, he did have a couple of shots, but they were, they were from quite far out. I suppose there was a couple of minutes where... Um, Carius did make a make quite a few decent saves, to be fair. But, um, yeah, we're, we're doing well now. Here we go. Go on, play it down the line. Love that. Isla. Go on. Oh, he's actually done really well. For God's sake. Why did I not get a shot away earlier? He, like, he, I think he got the ball in between the guy's legs there, actually. Oh, Iniesta, of course. Majestic. He's doing us up here. But, Matip, what a player. Um... I'm not going to lie, that could be a red card. Clavan, I'm start, I was starting to believe, think whether he was going to be a, whether he was a bit more of a liability than he was on, with him being on the pitch. So yeah. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, Jack! What have you done? What have you done? And I can't pick a pass together. God. Wow, Carius once again. I've got a feeling we're going to score, though. I've got a good feeling. Sometime soon, we're going to score. And he scored. Right, I'm actually going to have to sort something out. I'm going to go ahead and put Isla at uh, the centre-back spot because I prefer to give up my CDM position than the flipping centre-back position. I can't. I can't risk it. So, yeah, here we go. Uh, Isla is going to go into the centre-back spot. Clavan's going to go there. I could put Pjanic back as well, but I need as many players forward as I possibly can at the same time so yeah we're gonna have to roll with it come on let's do this we can we can get back on this cross it in come on back post yes there we go Cersei has made it 1-1 what a flipping response I don't think the subs the sub that I made had anything to do with that but look at this here we go Erkin crosses it in boom Cersei back post lovely stuff here we are turn him turn him go on Go on. Oh my god, Leno. How is he saving these? Here we go. Go on. Pjanic. Pjanic. Oh, we've got bloody that bright again. Well, I'm pretty sure this guy has stopped playing now. I don't know why he stopped playing, but we're just going to try and score anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure this guy has stopped playing. I'm like almost certain now. Go on. Can we get a last minute goal? Yes, there we go. Benega has scored for us. Um, yeah, the guy's not playing, so it's not really a big achievement, but I just felt like, look, if it's 1-1, he's not been playing for like the past 10 minutes FIFA time, so I'm going to try and get a goal, because obviously you would. It's free, it's free coins, and it's a free victory, basically. It was 1-1, fair play. I did think I was going to go and win anyway, even though I had got a red card, but yeah, there we go. 2-1 to us. I think it would have been that scoreline anyway, despite me losing a player, but... Um, yeah, I'm going to say this is going to be the end of the video now because this guy is not playing. I'm not going to go and hammer in a load of more goals. I'm only going to do what I need to do. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any other kind of hybrids to do with the transfer players or anything you do want to do me see me do with the pink footies players um, that you'd like to see. Please let me know in the comment section below because I'll build you know some pretty cool hybrids that you can all build as well. Maybe I could start doing some hybrids with, like, three of the um, categories at the same time, so I could do like Pjanic, uh, I don't know what categories there are, but there's like, do you know, like last year there was like the perfect link ones uh, and stuff like that, so I could get three categories and have to build a hybrid out of them through categories, let me know in the comment section below if that is something that you could, like, guys would like to see, um, and yeah, thanks for watching, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you guys next time, peace. Oh,